Morning everyone, I hope you're well today. Just finished up my breakfast. I've got nothing to show you. It's all in my tummy, but it wasn't very exciting. I just had a bagel with garlic and herb Philadelphia, which is the one, and a coffee. I was just filming a TikTok because someone commented saying they wanted to see the mug in action, which obviously I loved doing. Pretty sure that coffee's finished now. I thought for this week's video, I would talk about style, personal style. I've been making a lot of, I don't even like to call it fashion content because it's not fashion. I never think of anything I do as fashion. It's just personal style. I've been doing a lot of that recently on Instagram and TikTok. And I saw a comment saying, I wish you could do this on YouTube. So I said that I would try. The thing with YouTube is if if it doesn't look like a vlog, I get way less views than normal. People just want to see vlogs, but this is kind of in like a vloggy style. I had kind of switched up my wardrobe recently and I thought it would be interesting to kind of talk about that in a YouTube video. I think there is space on the internet for every different style, whether you're like a mega fashionista, whether you love super designer clothes and like runway clothes, or if you just like wearing t-shirt and jeans, I think there is like a space for everyone because there's always gonna be someone that relates to you. I actually just filmed a two-part TikTok video going through the last 10 years of my outfit picks. And I know that a lot of you don't actually use TikTok, so I thought I would add that into this video and it could be a little bit more chatty and go into a little bit more detail than I did on TikTok. So I think I'll do that first. I've got some photos and I'm gonna go through and chat through 10 years worth of outfit pictures. I think it's really interesting to see how my outfits change over the years throughout like pregnancies. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you some like current items in my wardrobe that I'm loving and outfits and just like chat to you about how I'm feeling about kind of personal style and dressing at the moment. Because it, it has been a real like roller coaster. I feel like you guys have like lived through it with me. I think it's really interesting. So I hope you guys do too. So I'm gonna pop some photos on screen here. Okay, let's go. 2013, let's start there. This was behind the scenes at Fashion Week. I was just so terrified to be there and I had no idea what to wear. I really remember loving this skirt. It's like a faux leather skirt. I actually think the shape is really flattering on me. Back in the day, I was always about like having my legs out. I think that's what I felt most confident with in my body, my legs. So that was like my default look, short skirt, short dress, and just like get my legs out. I think this handbag is like Michael Kors and I'm pretty sure that top was Zara. I don't hate this outfit. I would never wear it now, but I remember quite liking it at the time. 2014, my style has definitely become a lot more casual already in just that year. I think I discovered like the striped tee as a great basic and Birkenstocks. Love the Birkenstocks. I just felt very cool in this photo and enjoying my new Ray-Ban Wayfarers, which were very in at the time. 2015, quite similar, same sort of like hair length going on. Love this photo with my friend Debs. I think that top was Zara. What does it say? Paris style overview by Fashion Insider. Oh God, that is just so awful, isn't it? But it's a very kind of casual weekend outfit. Easy. I think for many years, I just found tucking the top into jeans was, was just very easy. This is in 2016, the year I got married. I think I do have that like wedding glow about me. It was a great year. My hair is probably the shortest it's ever been. It's kind of blonde at the ends. I actually think that length does really suit me, but I'm also quite liking the long hair. This was on a press trip in New York. Oh, I think those shoes were like Tom's and they weren't very nice, but I remember thinking they were so comfortable. So I wore them all the time. I think this is when I discovered like the blazer look, although I think this one is just too long, but it's like a long oversized blazer, tight bottoms. 2017, post getting married, was the year I started working with a photographer called Lydia. So suddenly I've got loads of outfit photos from this year. Although I remember like after a while, I just felt a bit like I was forcing it. Like I would spend the day with her, take loads of outfit photos and then have like nothing to say about them. And it didn't feel very authentic and organic to me. And since then I've changed things and I've always said that I will only take an outfit photo when I'm actually wearing that outfit and I'm actually real going there because there was a time where people used to go out and take like five outfit photos in a day and we'd like change in a tent on the street and it just didn't feel very me. But anyway, this outfit, faux leather skirts, over the knee boots, like honestly, I can't believe I'm wearing over the knee boots. I mean, it looks good. I couldn't wear this now. Look at my legs. Why don't you appreciate what you've got when you've got it? Honestly, like I'm gonna say the same thing about myself now in like 20 years time, I'm sure. Gucci Soho disco bag. I think this is when I started like investing in some nicer pieces in my wardrobe. Not sure about that shirt. I remember loving this 
outfit. The jumper was like a really nice length and I loved the colour. I got that Chanel bag when I was on a Chanel press trip. I bought it in a boutique in the south of France and it was like such a fun time and wearing the leather skirt again. Felt really confident I think during this time. Just really enjoying, starting to enjoy like putting outfits together. I mean who wears jackets over their shoulders like that no one actually does but even now to this day like a striped top denim black trainers that is a great formula for an outfit this was a bit rogue i don't think i would wear this now but i think i was enjoying wearing red a bit more and just wearing a bit more color and yeah more orange orange skirt leather jacket worn over my shoulders like trying to be such a fashionista. I do look happy and I did enjoy like working with someone else and getting out and taking outfit pics. This is still 2017. I think this was on a press trip somewhere. I really enjoyed this look of like a tea dress, which was like a bit more floral and girly and feminine with like a tougher leather jacket on top and leather boots. This was like my go-to summer festival look. I loved wearing like a short dress and chunky boots. This photo was taken in 2017 in Italy and I just remember feeling like I really looked like me and I still think this really looks like me now and I look very calm and happy and I enjoyed the, just the simplicity of jeans and a black top. Okay this is 2018 and this is in Brighton. I'm wearing my Kira Knightley hat which I do think it really suits me, but there's something quite cringe about a Kira Knightley hat. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe it'll come back into fashion. I don't think I could wear it now, but I would like to find some more hats. I feel like hats do suit me. Also 2018, again, quite a simple like blazer, t-shirt, jeans look, which is like a pattern throughout. I think I keep going back to that because it does actually suit me. Oh, I love this photo. I really remember this was like a really fun day in East London and I was so happy with how this photo came out. I think Rich took it. I think when I was like stood up, the t-shirt tucked into a skirt didn't look as flattering when I was standing. That's the thing with like outfit pictures and Instagram is like you get the best angle, but in reality, does that outfit look good when you're just like walking around? I remember that this definitely looked a lot nicer in the photo, but it does make me want to wear more skirts. 2018, just the classic t-shirt tucked into jeans. This was my go-to thing. And this is why I struggled so much after having grey because I couldn't wear my high-waisted jeans with a t-shirt tucked in and it's all I really knew. So 2019, this was when I was pregnant. So I was due in May, so maybe six months pregnant, but first pregnancy, I feel like the bump takes ages to show. So I've started to get a bit of a bump here, but I actually liked this photo. I didn't feel super confident that day, but I think it came out well. You can kind of see a bit of a bump, but not too much. And this was when I was way more pregnant. I was at an event and I think this is when I realized wearing tighter clothes was more flattering. I, I look so puffy in my face. Like I know you guys liked this photo and I got loads of compliments on it, but I remember feeling not great. And then like most of the end of the pregnancy, I really struggled to feel stylish, to find outfits that made me feel good. And honestly, a lot of the time I just wore like leggings and a top and I just had no idea like how to dress. This photo makes me really sad. This was May, June, July, a couple of months after having Grey and I was shooting a job for Missima and I could just see in my face that I was not ready to come back to work. I found that quite stressful to take photos of myself. I didn't feel confident. I had this whole new body shape. I didn't know what to wear. Maybe from the outside you'd think, oh, it's quite a nice photo, but like I can see all the things that I was feeling at the time. And this photo, July, 2019, I think we went to Selfridges for the day. I felt quite confident in a jumpsuit, actually like a looser jumpsuit, but still just like my whole body had changed. My shoulders were wider. My rib cage was wider, obviously my stomach. And, but that was like the least of it really. My hips, my thighs, my feet, like everything had just got bigger. Even like my facial features, I had a lot of like skin tags. My teeth had started staining and my hair was starting to fall out. I found it very hard to be on the internet during this time. August, 2019, so May, June, July. Oh my God, it's only like three months postpartum and I'm trying to take outfit pictures, but just like all I feel comfortable in is like loose dresses. This one was nice. I need to buy more jumpsuits. Jumpsuits suit me. Okay, we're in 2020 and I think I'm starting to kind of get used to my new body shape a little bit, although I feel like it took me a good two years to get used to it, but I'm definitely getting more used to it here. 
um, starting to enjoy wearing non-jeans more and, and realizing that that actually quite suits me. These are like linen trousers and a gray jumper and I liked this outfit. Now we're going into lockdown territory and obviously we all wore a lot of loungewear when we were at home and I think it actually just as I was starting to figure out how to dress that just like took me back five steps and I wore a lot of loungewear and didn't really see the point wearing anything else. This was summer 2020, a little local walk wearing uh lucy and yak dungarees again like i think this was me trying to be experimental but i'm not sure they're the most flattering and more more loose dresses i am just lost during this time this is september 2020 and i think jeans were starting to fit me again um i think i just accepted that i had to get some new ones in a size that actually fits me and i felt good wearing jeans although i didn't really know how to wear them if i wasn't tucking things in but i did like this oversized kind of knitted vest. And I screenshot this one because I remember buying this Aneen Bing jacket and being like, I'm gonna treat myself, but then like never really understanding how to work it into my wardrobe. And I think because although I liked it, it didn't really fit with the other clothes I had in my wardrobe. And that's something I'm starting to understand more now, like how to make things work together, how to identify what's missing in my wardrobe, filling those gaps rather than just buying something because I like it. Like this is just a non outfit. I'm wearing all nice things separately, but just like, it's so nothingy together. But also, Look, I have like a young child. I didn't have time to think about what outfits I was wearing. And I think I remember finding that frustrating, being like, oh my God, I'm in Primrose Hill. Rich, take a photo of me. But then being like, oh, well, what am I even wearing? I haven't really thought it through. Like I don't feel confident. Winter will always be my comfort blanket. Being able to throw on like a nice big coat over your outfit and like wearing nice boots. I always feel more confident in winter. This was at the end of 2020. And more loungewear. Okay, this is March, 2021 and <laughs> I think I'm just starting to figure out how to put outfits together properly. But I was like five weeks pregnant at this point. And what I was doing is I was batch taking photos because I knew that I wanted to keep this pregnancy hidden for a little bit longer than I did with Grey. So I was taking photos in case I got a bump early on, which I did. So this is a nice photo, but yeah, it was totally like staged. I'd like put that outfit on, taking that photo and plan to post it in a few weeks time. This one as well, like I really like the linen shirt look and Birkenstocks and I felt really confident in this, but I was about to embark on another pregnancy that would probably take me back a few steps. This photo, I really remember this because I was hiding my pregnancy from the internet or trying to and someone commented saying clearly you're pregnant and I just felt really not very confident. I thought this dress was nice but actually the sleeveless, it doesn't suit me. My arms had massively changed since having grey. Like I remember t-shirts that fitted me before were like too tight around here and I also had to wear my hair in plaits like this for a long time because my hair had all broken off from heat damage, from bleach, from postpartum hair and I just felt really gross in every way. I just wore a lot of loose dresses and my hair up in plaits. And I feel like this whole like two years of time is just like, it's so weird looking back on it now. I, I don't know if reg regret's a strong word, but I look back at all of these photos I'm putting up and I'm like, oh, it's so hard. It just like, doesn't even feel like me. When I started actually getting a bump with Rudy, I started feeling a little bit more confident and I could like experiment more with a few different outfits, but obviously I still had days where I just wanted like the uncomfy clothes. I think this photo is quite a good example of when I started to understand like the beauty of layering with clothes. Like maybe in the past, I would have just worn a t-shirt and jeans, but understanding that I could put a shirt on top and actually that gave it like a little bit more of like an elevated look. Love this striped jumper, jeans and boots and tote bag look, although my hair, not a good length there. But the reality is most of the time I looked like this, like very heavily pregnant in a hoodie and leggings. Okay, we are postpartum here. It is 2022. I am two months postpartum, back to work, probably too soon, but this is second kid and I was feeling a lot more confident. I kind of knew the deal. My body hadn't changed that much because it had already gone through a big change and it was winter. So it was a much easier time to be postpartum because I could throw on a big hoodie, a trench coat, and I, I felt good. This photo, I remember feeling quite good on that day and asking Rich to take a photo and then just like looking at that photo and being like, who even is that person? Ah, I hate this photo. It just makes me feel a bit sad. But going further into 2022 and discovering my love for Arquette and I love this whole look. Wide leg trousers, I think have been really good for me because they've just like, I think having a bit of a wider leg balances out my kind of newer hips and wide broader shoulders and it gives like a really nice silhouette. So I really like this look. And then just another one, again, this is like a good example of 
Maybe in the past I would have worn high-waisted jeans and tucked in a t-shirt, but actually experimenting more with trousers. This is like a barrel leg trouser. And then a white t-shirt with like a French tuck when you just tuck in a little bit at the front. That kind of works better for my new body shape. Linen for summer, yes, really, really works for me. And then this in 2022 was at the BAFTAs. Such a fun night and I loved wearing this set from Sleeper. I think I realised that investing in a few good pieces when I really want to feel good is worth it. And I love this set because it's black, so it's still in my comfort zone, but it's fun. And it's got these little feathery arms and ankles and I felt really good that evening. This outfit in September 2022, um, a good example again of how I've like changed my t-shirt and jeans look and made it a bit more appropriate for my new life and body. So it's sandals, jeans, but the jeans are now cropped instead of skinny. So they're straight leg cropped, a white vest top, which I remember I didn't feel that confident in, but I could kind of hide it a bit with an oversized men's shirt on top. I just added this one in from Christmas because I loved the sequin top. Okay, this is the beginning of this year, 2023. This is just like a pretty standard winter look for me. And this one as well, like a long coat, a wider leg trouser, Converse's have been massively helpful in my wardrobe and a beanie hat. And just like loving wearing basics, jeans, striped top, but this striped top's a little bit more interesting in the arms and the buttons and then the Birkenstock Bostons. Like, it's like a look I would have worn years ago, but updated. Really enjoying wearing blazers recently. There was a long period of time where I wasn't sure how to make them work, but I really like the portions of this outfit. An oversized blazer, a tighter top underneath, straight leg jeans and boots. This is a pretty standard look for me. Trench coat, grey jumper, trousers, trainers. Really loving this. These Arquette trousers that I'm actually wearing today are so comfortable. Such a good piece to have in my wardrobe. That is my look back at the last 10 years of outfit pics. Let me know if you remember any of those photos and if you have any thoughts, I think, I don't know, it's been quite a good experiment actually for me to do that and see how my like style has evolved. And I feel in like a good place with it now. It's not too different, but it's just a bit more me. And actually I think we should go upstairs now and I'm gonna show you some like new in things in my wardrobe and how I'm wearing them. Okay, what I've done is I've pulled a load of stuff from my wardrobe and just like put it on this rail, but I'm just gonna like pick out a few things I'm enjoying at the moment. These shoes are on rotation at the moment. I do wear a lot of trainers because I, like I said in my lifestyle they are the most useful like when I'm with the kids when I'm working from home like there is a few occasions where I'm out at an event I've got the Cezanne boots that I love and I need uh now that it's going into spring I need a loafer that would be really great I've got the Gucci ones but they're black I want a kind of like tan brown loafer I think that would be really helpful in my wardrobe Cezanne and Arquette have some nice ones so that's something I'm definitely going to look into adding to this the Birkenstock Boston clogs I know they're a bit of a Marmite shoe and they do look a bit weird but they do go with loads of outfits they look great with jeans they look good with like a wider leg they look good with like a linen trousers they're so easy to slip on and off so they're really practical the only thing that's not practical is like if my kids step on my foot they like they are getting quite stained because they're a suede but other than that very practical very comfortable I love Birkenstocks I wear my Converse all the time these are the Chuck 70s I really like the style of them over the kind of classic ones they literally go with everything they go with jeans they go with trousers they go with dresses they're like a casual trainer that can also be like smartened up really annoying to put on with the laces like if you've got kids and you need to quickly put on your shoes but I do love these these are new for me they are the New Balance 327s they're very chunky they're very much like a dad trainer again look good with like a wider trouser they're chunky so it's nice if you want to like balance out an outfit if you've got a big blazer on or a jacket and you're quite top heavy it's good to put on like a chunky shoe i got i went for the navy because i felt like in my wardrobe blue is like a neutral i have a lot of blue in my wardrobe and i think it's because like jeans are blue and jeans are like a basic item. So blue does feel like quite a basic, neutral, like easy to match color for me. These are the Adidas Sambas. These are brand new. I haven't even worn them out yet, but I love them. Very different, a much like lower trainer. A little bit harder to style I find, but nice with like a wider leg. Now I've got a few more like wider leg trousers. I like the different tones of them on the front and love Adidas, such like a 90s throwback for me. Jackets wise, uh, there's kind of three that I wear a lot that I'm wearing a lot in spring. Trench, 
I feel like the trenches that everyone's wearing now have a more oversized and have these like big like loops on the wrist and I think that looks really nice but I feel like I've got this one and it would be a bit silly to get another one so I'm just gonna like have this one for the season and if that style is still in next year maybe I'll invest then or for like autumn but this is from and other stories last year and it's just like a really good kind of neutral camely color also loving this quilted green jacket from lululemon this one's quite expensive but you can get the quilted jacket look anywhere and i wasn't sure about it at first my grandma used to wear these quilted coats and when it first came out i was like this is such a granny look but it's like this or a bomber i don't have a bomber but it's nice to have that slightly kind of oversized like thinner jacket i'll show what this looks like on afterwards but i feel like this goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe and a denim jacket as well i really like the denim jackets now that are more oversized and like straighter so not so much like remember in the 90s we'd wear like cropped denim jackets that's really hard to match with things but i feel like the more oversized looser one this one is from marquette which i think is sold out i got it last year this is a great one and then i got a couple of blazers one from Zara, which you guys have seen in those photos. And then this one is from Arquette. Arquette does great blazers. Um, I think I've got this coming in a black as well, but this is just like a beigey color. The trousers I'm wearing are the same um, in black, and then I've got them in beige. So you can either, it's really, I think it's really good to have like a couple of blazers, a couple of smart trousers from the same collection because you can mix match. These tops from And Other Stories have been really handy in my wardrobe. They're frilled edge tops. I've literally got one in black and in cream and these are really great for layering i've definitely learned that having these more basic pieces for layering is really handy if i'm tucking it into jeans if i'm wearing it under a blazer they're thin that they're gonna last me throughout spring as well oh this is new from arquette it's a t-shirt dress and i thought this was really nice because it's like a basic that you could wear during the day with trainers or you could kind of dress it up for the evening a good thing a good like day to night thing if i've got events all day and then i'm going out in the evening and i feel comfortable in just like a loose t-shirt dress I've also realised that investing in t-shirts is a really great thing for me because I do wear t-shirts all the time. So I love the Arquette crew neck t-shirts. I think that's what I'm wearing now. Um, and I've got a couple from Anine Bing that have lasted me really well. And it just kind of makes a basic t-shirt and jeans outfit look a little bit more interesting. Like this with jeans or trousers and then like a denim jacket on top. That would look really nice. And I've got a Gany one as well. I've got lots of plain t-shirts, but having just like a few bit more like interesting ones, it's worth investing for me because I wear them all the time. I've got a couple of jeans hanging here i haven't found the perfect jeans yet i do want to find some more kind of longer length jeans i need to find some that are right for me i've got a couple of bags hanging here just this brown one from suzanne and a basic tote bag like don't underestimate how easy a tote bag is and it looks great with an outfit also this is a little linen set this is a bit more summery but this is from what the brand it's a linen set shorts and a top and i just wanted to try this on to show you guys because i think it's a really nice way of doing summer dressing if you're like me and you don't love summer dressing like just don't feel confident in a lot of summer clothes so by doing that so i'll show you in a minute okay so let's start this with a basic uh arquette t-shirt tucked in and the Arquette black trousers and then the shoes I'm wearing are the New Balance. I really enjoy the chunky trainer with the smarter trousers. So there's quite a few options here. I could layer on a blazer, a denim jacket. Actually any of those coats would work, let me show you. This is what the denim jacket looks like for a more kind of casual look. But again, the kind of casual denim jacket with the smarter trouser. It's like casual, smart, casual that kind of works i mean i wish i was wearing a white t-shirt but whatever let's just go with it this is what i was wearing exactly the same outfit but with an oversized blazer so this gives a little bit more of a suit look but because the blazer and the trousers aren't matching it's not a suit and the trainers make it feel a little bit more casual this is definitely a bit more of like a masculine look but i like it i just want to show you that all of these jackets go with the same outfit because it's really quite clever once you kind of work it out and work how to make all the different pieces in your wardrobe work. So this is the, the trench coat, the same t-shirt, same trousers, the trainers. I love a trench, so, so easy to wear in spring. And then finally, the Lululemon, this is too big. They didn't have the correct size, so I had to go for the size up. Um, it was for a job I was shooting, but I still love it. Again, it's this kind of like casual vibes, but because the trousers are smarter, it smartens up the whole look. I love the way this jacket looks from the side. I know oversized is not to everyone's taste, but, but we all like what we like. These are the And Other Stories straight leg jeans, and I've just put on my Birkenstock Boston clogs, and then this white top is from 
Cezanne and the bag Cezanne as well. I think like a silky kind of white top like this is very day to night, pub garden, going out into the evening. I could smarten up all of these pieces as well. Like if this was with smarter trousers or what I can do is I can switch up the shoes, add a belt, add a blazer, make that a little bit smarter. Actually, I think a lot of the items on this rail would work with these pieces as well. The, and other stories, long sleeve tops look really nice with these jeans. Actually, let me show you now how I'm gonna turn these jeans into something a little bit dressier. Okay, so same jeans and I've just layered underneath the long sleeve and other stories top. I've added a belt and then I've put on the beige Arquette blazer. So I think because of the black belt, this black bag from Arquette will be nice. And then I could either wear Converse to dress it down, black loafers to dress it up. I mean, I could wear my Birkenstocks as well. Everything would kind of go, trainers would go as well, but it just depends if I want to like dress it up or down. But I like the lighter tones for spring, the kind of beigey tones. I think that looks really nice. I'm having a moment with my wardrobe where I just feel like all of the pieces work together and it's such a relief, like from going from the last two years where I feel like every time I take anything out of my wardrobe or put anything on, it just didn't feel like it was working and I didn't feel good in it. And I think just like getting the right pieces, seeing an outfit I like, and then instead of just going, oh, I like that outfit, I'm then saving that outfit and I'm working out what about that outfit do I like? Is it the blazer? Is it the colors that they're wearing? And then how can I make that work outfit work for my lifestyle? How can I make it so it's comfortable for me and it feels like me? Yeah, I think it's all just kind of like working together at the moment which feels great. Plan for the rest of the day is to empty my inbox, start working on Grey's party bags, I've got the osteopath this afternoon, and edit a couple of TikTok videos. It's going to be a productive day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week in another one. Bye!